guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you stopped by today because today we are going to be doing another really fun project. Today I'm going to be making, stay up there, <laughs> I'm going to be making a plush scorpion. I figured it'd be a very simple, fun project to do. I haven't done a solid plushie in a while and I really wanted to do a scorpion. Maybe we'll do a more detailed scorpion later, but I wanted to do a plushie this month. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, so this project is going to be pretty simple. There's mainly only sewing, so nothing really fancy about that. It's going to be easiest if you have a sewing machine, of course. But honestly, if you're really good at hand sewing, you can do this project too. You just might have to adjust it here and there to fit your style. So I have a very simple pattern for the body. It's just kind of a weird spoon shape, and then I have patterns for the legs. And then to make the body not so flat, I have a strip that's gonna go along the sides. So I'm going to use my pattern and get all my fabric pieces cut out and then we can start sewing everything. Okay, so these are all the fabric pieces that I'm going to be using to make our scorpion. I have two body pieces, a top and a bottom, a strip of fabric that's going to go along the sides, the pieces for all the legs. We need six legs, so we need six left and six right patterns. And then we have two pincers, so we need a top and bottom for that as well. Now before I start putting everything together, I decided that I wanted to mark out the little joints. So I'm going to take my sewing machine and I'm going to go along all these lines. So we're going to do this to all the legs and we're also going to be doing it going down the body. So I'm going to kind of separate the body in sections as well. And then after we have all of our line work sewn into place, I'm going to start taking the leg pieces and the pincers, and we're going to sandwich those together, pin them together, and we're going to sew around them. With the pincers, we're going to close them up basically all the way except for where it gets really thin. We'll leave that open and have to hand sew it after we flip it right side out. And then for the legs, we're just going to sew the top portion of the legs and leave the bottom open. They're so thin that I'm kind of afraid they won't flip right side out if I sew all the way around. So I'm just going to leave that portion for hand sewing after we have this portion done. So I'm going to sew all of our legs and our pincers and then after I have those sewn with the sewing machine, I'm going to take my scissors and cut off any excess fabric that I have. So with the pincers, I left the pincers basically connected. So after I had the sewing done, I ended up cutting them apart. And then after we have any excess fabric cut off, we're going to flip those right side out, stuff them, and start closing everything up. So they're going to look something like this. Um, I decided that I wanted them to hold their shape a little bit better, so I decided to cut some wires to fit inside of the legs. I bent those wires into place, and I'm just going to slide them into the legs and the pincers. And I'm just doing this so it holds its shape better. There's really not any posable purpose to this other than that. Now that we have the legs and stuff done, we're going to move on to the body. So I'm going to take that strip of fabric that we have. I made two pieces of it and I'm going to sew those together. That way we have a center portion. And then I'm going to take our body pieces. I'm going to pick one to start with. I think I'm just going to start with the top portion and we're going to hand sew this strip of fabric into place. So we're just going to go along the side of the body and then after that we're going to take the other body piece and sew that into place as well. Before adding the other body piece, I made sure to cut a tiny hole at the bottom of it. That way we had a point to flip everything right side out. And then after we have the two pieces connected to that strip of fabric, we're going to take our tail and we're going to pin that together and we're going to sew that with a sewing machine. So we're going to go down one side and then down the other.
We're then going to flip her body right side out with the tail being so thin you may need a wooden dowel for this but once you get everything flipped we're going to start stuffing it and then I want the tail to be able to hold itself up as well so even though I don't want this super poseable I do want it to hold its shape so I made a very simple wire frame to kind of go inside the body. It's just kind of like a spoon shape similar to how we did the pattern and where I connected the wire where I bent it and twisted it together I made sure to cover that in like hot glue so there wasn't any sharp points. So I'm going to take this and put it inside of the body and then we can close our body up. Now we need to sew on all of our limbs. So I'm not going to make any holes or anything like that. I'm just going to sew them right into place. So I'm just going to mark out where I want the leg to go and I'm going to take my time and slowly add it to the side of the body. The reason I want to take my time is I want the leg to be positioned correctly. I don't want it to be crooked and I also want it to be even with the other side of the body. So I want the legs to be all even. And then after I have all my legs into place, I really like how this looks, but I want to add a bit of texture to the fabric just for fun. So I'm going to take my 3D fabric paint and I'm going to use some blacks and I think I used some browns for the eyes just so they'll stand out a little bit. But I used mainly black and I just added little dots here and there to make it look like it had somewhat of a texture. And so it just kind of did this here and there on the body, like the pincers, the legs, around the face portion. And after I liked how it looked, I set it off to dry. plush scorpion. I had so much fun with this project. Normally I don't make plushes so it was a nice little break from the more detailed projects that I'm going to be doing later in the month. Anyways, make sure to keep an eye out for tomorrow's artist vlog. If you guys didn't know, I'm vlogging every Friday this month just to check it out to see if you guys like it. If so, we might keep it on the channel or at least do it every week or every other week. I'm not 100% sure yet. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!